Hello! So today's video is going to be a fun one because we are recreating Pinterest outfits. Now when I say recreating, I don't mean we're copying, pasting everything we're seeing. I'm just going to be using the outfits as inspiration and reference, but then pulling everything from my own personal closet. And I think this is a fun exercise just to get creative, maybe put things together in ways you hadn't thought of before, and ultimately see your wardrobe from a different perspective. So let's not waste any time and just jump right into it. So for this outfit, we have a plaid button-up shirt, denim shorts, some white socks, and some Doc Martin Mary jeans. The reason I picked this one is because I feel like this is such a universal outfit that could be worn in pretty much any part of the world with any number of pieces. And odds are you probably have a short sleeve button up of some sort in your closet, a pair of denim shorts. And even if you don't have Doc Martens, like some loafers or something could easily replace this. But my first reaction to this was it is really cute, but it also looks very manageable and easy to put together, comfortable to wear. And those are always good things any time of year, but especially in the summer. So to recreate this outfit, I am looking at three pieces. First is this gingham button-up blouse. It has all these really cute details on it, embroidered flowers and ladybugs. And the girl in the photo was wearing plaid or gingham. And this fits me in a boxier way too, so I think this will be the perfect top to recreate the shape and just overall look of that piece. And then she paired it with just some plain denim shorts. And these are actually the only denim pair of shorts that I own. It's an unpopular opinion, I hate wearing shorts. I also hate wearing jeans and just anything that's like tight and restrictive and I feel like I can't move around. It's just not a good fit for me. But when I saw these at Plato's Closet, I had to get them. And my excuse was you literally do not own denim shorts, so this will be your pair. <laughs> just in case the mood strikes me. And apparently it did because we're styling them today. <laughs> but these are Levi's. And it's kind of hard to read on the camera, but they have little embroidered flowers all over them. All the flowers are this dark blue, but they each have a different color on the inside. So again, only denim shorts I own. But even so, I think the embroidery on the shorts and the embroidery on the top is a fun combination. And it definitely puts my own spin on the outfit. And then to top things off, we have some white bobby socks. Just any kind of white crew neck sock will do really. But I prefer mine to have little frilly edges. <laughs> and then of course some Doc Martin Mary Janes. So here is the outfit. Sorry for the outfit shots having to be vertical. I'm working with limited space and I think it just works better to film this way. So you can have the whole look. And also I've been sitting on the ground in between outfits. So if my knees are like red and indented, it's because I'm kneeling on a shag carpet in between takes. But overall, I think we nailed the general look. Like each piece is a staple. So I think a lot of people could wear this. And just because I'm short, I don't know if I love these proportions on me, but it's definitely definitely given me some ideas on how to play around with these pieces. And overall, I feel like it's very cute, very 90s, but this could work for so many occasions in the summer. And I do still agree with the idea that this embroidery would pair well with this. I think overall, there's just little eye-catching details throughout the outfit that make it just a little bit more interesting than if each piece were plain. And then some of the bolder and more contrasting flowers actually make the docks and socks pop even more. But yeah, overall, this is a really cute fit. Now we have this super cute outfit. She's wearing a smocked tank top on top of some sort of graphic tee with a crossbody bag and a leopard print mini skirt. And then she's topped everything off with some white sneakers and some cute accessories. When I saw this, some pieces from my own wardrobe immediately popped into my head. And although the color scheme of those pieces is not the same, and again, we're not trying to recreate these outfits directly like piece for piece. So this outfit would be a perfect example of like how you don't have to have the same pieces and how anything you have resembling these pieces is totally fine. And pairing those things together still works. Yeah, I thought this look was really colorful, really fun and playful, and it pairs things together that I would not have thought to pair. So I'm excited to see where this one goes. So for this next outfit, I'm working with three different pieces. First, we have this leopard print mini skirt. And again, not the exact same pattern or color, but it doesn't matter because we're just getting inspiration. But this is close enough, so I still think it's going to work. And then I have this t-shirt with the tank top layered on top of it already to show you how to do this. But underneath, we just have a graphic t-shirt with this cropped pepper tank top with bows on top and again different color combination but this is really similar to the pieces that she has especially the tank top but since my top was black and white i just changed the color scheme a little bit to pair better with the skirt and i thought this pink would be a perfect color to balance out the two patterns and then to finish the look she has some accessories like glasses and necklaces and some white sneakers here is the next outfit i don't have a black crossbody bag so i just grabbed this little backpack instead and it's just got some pins i made and have collected over the years on it i actually thought kind of the punky look of it it pairs really well with everything that's going on. 
and this one probably won't be for everyone but i personally really like it let's try it with the sunglasses on there we go now we have the full impact <laughs> this i think would be such a cute downtown look grabbing coffee looking at some local art stores that sort of occasion i think especially with the backpack because that just makes things easier <laughs> And even my Adidas have leopard print on them, but that's more like a cream color in black, which pulls in with the top really nicely too. And I added this little pearl necklace too. But I really like the proportions of this outfit. I think it's really playful. And since the pieces I was working with were different lengths than the ones in the photo, instead of tucking my shirt in and having that exposed, since this top is longer and this one is longer and the skirt comes up higher, I just let the t-shirt hang out. So you get a hint of the pink at the top and the bottom. Yeah, this is really cute. I would love to pair this top combo with other bottoms and see what that looks like. And this is why you seek inspiration and try things out, because I have never thought to pair these two tops together, and I really, really like it. Next, we have this very simple and understated look, but it's still very elegant and looks very put together. And they are wearing just some nice minimal jewelry, a white button-up, some sort of bralette, a mini skirt, and of course, white socks and loafers. I personally can't get enough of that combination, so I understand why a lot of these outfits have that in there. Again, this is a style that I think pretty much anybody could recreate with things that they already have. But instead of going with the brown shades, because I don't really have that many brown things in my closet, we're going to switch the brown pieces out with black. But I think the vision of the outfit will overall still be the same. And this one is another really easy summer fit. And I'm always a fan of outfits that look really put together, but took like zero brain power to throw together. Because when it's hot outside, I honestly don't want to think too hard about it. So I think a lot of these outfits are a good solution to that problem. Next we're recreating that black and brown look with the white button up and the mini skirt. And again the base is three pieces and I've hung up to show you again. But underneath is just a black tank top and the top she was wearing was quite cropped and I generally opt for something longer. So you could replace that with a longer layer or if you do want to show some skin and sometimes I do, you might want to opt for a bralette or a sports bra or something like that instead. And then we just have the white button up on top and then we have this black mini skirt. And again, very simple, very basic pieces probably everyone has or has something close enough to. And then the look was kind of polished off with lots of necklaces, some glasses, a little handbag, and of course our white socks with loafers. Here's the finished look. I love this so much. This is such a wearable outfit. Literally you could wear this anywhere and it's cute. I did add some necklaces and I also have my sunglasses. And then for shoes I have these knockoff Doc Martens I found. And the silhouettes of my pieces were a little bit different. So what I ended up doing was just rolling the waist of the skirt down and then rolling my tank top up a little bit just to have like a peekaboo of midriff. But I do think this look would be incredibly cool with just like a bra and even wearing the top all the way open. But I did do the top couple of buttons up. Yes, definitely what I think of when I think of elevated basics. Now, these are all extremely simple pieces, but just certain silhouettes and textures look really interesting together, even if the color palette and the designs are very minimal. And overall, it's just a really effortless, cool kind of look. This is a really easy summer outfit and probably the outfit that I feel the most confident in so far. And what I love about this is that it gives me a template to start to play around. So you can add a more interesting layer underneath, maybe a more interesting layer on top, switch out the colors, go for patterns. But this is like a foolproof outfit formula, essentially. I will 1000% be wearing this one out. Hello. Do you like my outfit? He's thinking about it. Now we have this Carrie Bradshaw look. I literally can't stop thinking about this outfit. They paired some kind of generic sports jersey with this really colorful summery bag, cropped low-rise capris, and then these really frilly girly heels. I love that this outfit feels equally sporty and feminine. And again, just pairing things together that I wouldn't think to pair. I think this outfit is so freaking cute. I just love the mix of everything that's going on here. And usually when I'm styling things, my footwear is usually sportier and then the top part of the outfit is girlier. And I love that this is kind of the inverse of that. So here's hoping I can do this look some sort of justice. Now this is probably the most ambitious outfit of the video. 
the Carrie Bradshaw outfit. And so I'm building the base with three pieces once again. So I have this sporty Dickies t-shirt, got a stripe and some numbers on the arm, but the back of the shirt has the logo and the number right there on the back. And the shirt, of course, is meant to be worn this way. But for the premise of this video and for the outfit, I'm going to be styling it backwards. And again, I don't own low-waisted capris. I personally am not a fan of low-waisted. I just like to feel a little bit more secure in my clothes. But I do have pants that are a very similar shade and they are longer so I rolled them already. But this waist is a little bit more mid-rise so I think the crop of the t-shirt and that will have like a similar effect to the proportions of her outfit. And then these are the only heels that I own. <laughs> yeah, my shoe collection is pretty abysmal right now. I've been slowly building my wardrobe up as I get more confident and more secure and knowledgeable about what my personal style is and the items of clothing that I want to have. So we're working on it. But for now we've got these heels to play dress up with. But I think the ankle strap in the black is going to be a really interesting contrast to the other colors. So this one's not going to be totally on the nose, but hopefully we're able to give it some sort of justice. So here's the outfit. I know the t-shirt looks a little weird because obviously this is not supposed to be on the front. So the placement of the graphic is like a little bit off. And then just since I'm filming, I just kind of tied the t-shirt with a scrunchie in the back just to give it a little bit more fitted of a look. But I honestly think this turned out so cute. It's such an unexpected combination of items. And we've got the strappy heels, the grungy pants, sporty top, and then I finished it off with this straw bag because her bag looked a little bit bigger, like a tote bag or something. But there were a lot of colors on that, so I wanted to emulate that here. But each piece is such a different vibe, so throwing everything together like this weirdly really works. And now I think I'm gonna have to thrift some more like fake jersey type of shirts or real ones if I can find them because this outfit gives me so many great ideas. And I really want to play around with this concept more. But yes, I in a million years would not have paired any of this together. And again, a great reason to do this and to play dress up and seek inspiration from other people. Because you never know what's going to strike a chord with you and resonate. And this city sporty kind of chic look might be my new thing right now. It's super fun, super cute and playful, but it still feels pretty polished. And while some look at this and objectively go, what? That outfit doesn't make sense. The right people will be like, she knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> Now this one is just clothing hung up, which honestly kind of makes styling a lot easier because I can quite literally just see, you know, okay, this piece, that piece. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I pretty much have this exact outfit in my closet already. It's a mint green t-shirt with a necklace and this little floral baby doll dress paired on top, then a tote bag with some pins and stuff and some Converse. Unfortunately, I trashed my black Converse while on a very muddy hike, <laughs> but I do have my red one still. But I definitely think recreating this outfit will be easy. It'll just have more of a red theme. And again, hung it up to show you how the layering works. I even added the necklace I'm gonna wear on there. But we've got this mint green t-shirt and one of my favorite items in my entire wardrobe, which is this super frilly, paisley, psychedelic baby doll dress. It's just so precious with the ruffles on the bottom and it has a lacy top and a little bow. But now you probably understand why I saw that outfit and I was like, oh my god, I have that exact outfit. But instead of pairing it with black Converse because I don't have those, I'm going to be doing my red ones instead. And then we're going to be finishing the look off with a tote bag. Here is our outfit. This is insanely cute. And without a doubt of all the outfits, this is most in line with my own personal style, I think. But the colors of this t-shirt and the dress just pair together so beautifully. And I even think the red Converse looks slightly more fun. It's just another pop of color that pulls from the colors that are already here in the dress. And then my bag I hand painted myself. It's a weird rabbit with flowers and hearts and stars. <laughs> But it looks so good with this outfit. I feel like everything belongs together. Easily the most wearable outfit in this video for me personally. It's so comfortable. And again, I can really wear this anywhere. But I just love how everything pairs together. It's very girly, very whimsical, very summery. And it's very me. 100 out of 10 would wear this outfit again. <laughs> Then for this next one, we have a denim jacket, a graphic t-shirt, a plaid mini skirt, a cute little bag, some stockings, and some boots. So I think for this look, I'm going to lose the stockings just because it's really hot outside. And I don't have black boots. I'm working on building my shoe collection right now. It's kind of taking me some time to figure out what styles I like. But I do have some red combat boots, so I think I'll swap those out. But overall, I think I'll be able to recreate this look. And again, the outfit is pretty simple, but the impact of it is really good. And I really think this combination of pieces can be worn all year. 
you can add tights, take them off. Again, very staple pieces to have. You know, most people have a denim jacket, some kind of plaid skirt, some sort of graphic tee, and boots too. So this is definitely one that you can do all sorts of pairings and mix and match. Sort of an endless combination of styles you could do. So here we have a denim jacket, and underneath is my Paramore t-shirt that I got when I saw them live. Not to flex on you all, but <laughs> I love this t-shirt. The graphic is honestly cool, and it holds a very special memory for me. So that's our top part. And then here I have this plaid pleated mini skirt that I actually wore when I saw Paramore. So pairing them together just feels like, you know, it's supposed to happen. This outfit was meant to be. <laughs> and then since I don't have black boots right now, I'm in the process of replacing a lot of my shoes. I am the type of person to wear things into the ground until they fall apart. And since my last black boots fell apart, I haven't been able to find a pair of that it feels right, you know, a pair that I want to commit myself to. I know that sounds very dramatic, but buying shoes is like the most difficult thing. I don't know what it is about me psychologically and spending money on shoes, but it's hard, okay? So instead, I'm going to pair them with these red combat boots I have. And again, like with the last outfit, I think the red is going to actually be a really cool pop of color and something that kind of spices the outfit up a little bit more. And I have a feeling this is going to be a good one. I'm feeling very lucky filming this because the outfits are just continually getting better, I think. Because <laughs> this is definitely a contender for my favorite outfit of the video it's so cute and instead of having a handbag because i don't have a black handbag i grabbed this little backpack instead i've had it for a really long time i love the design on it and again the red from the bag really pulls into the red of the boots and the colors of the bag just kind of play with the overall color scheme of the outfit really well i think and again it doesn't really matter that the silhouettes are not exactly the same it's about seeking inspiration and applying it to your own style in your own closet and this is very much the kendall version of that outfit it's a little grunge a little girly and i really see myself wearing Wearing this mostly in the fall time. You can skip the tights if it's still hot outside, but I think black stockings would really take this up a notch, or fishnets, or some kind of lacy pattern. But since it's summer, I wanted to style it more realistically for this current season. At least my current season. I know it's different in other parts of the world right now. But ultimately, this is definitely one of my favorites. Another outfit to kind of mix and match, but I love the feel of this outfit and it's also pretty comfortable. This skirt is a bit too short for my liking, but some tights or even some shorts can solve that issue. And I definitely see me crunching and some leaves in this outfit. <laughs> I feel like I reference the same activities because I'm always doing the same activities, but coffee, thrifting, walking downtown definitely has a very cool feel to this outfit and I really love it. I'm really happy with this one. Almost forgot the sunglasses. Very, very cute outfit. So that's all I have for you for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some style inspiration. And quickly, I just wanted to thank everyone for the support so far. I've received a lot of really nice comments and I just really appreciate that. And thank you if you're still watching. If you have suggestions for me, video ideas, I'm always down to hear them. And please let me know which outfit was your favorite. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see ya.